One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all and in the darkness bind them. We're going to talk about the Lord of the Rings a little bit. The Return of the King. There's a moment in the third movie that I understand is not in the books, but it is in the movie and I want to talk about it. There's a moment where Arwen is talking to her dad, Elrond, right? The king of the elves or the elder or whatever he is. And they're going back and forth and he's trying to convince her to leave Middle-earth, to go to the elven heaven or wherever, second, I don't know, whatever, right? To go on the, the leaves and the rivers of other beyond. I don't know. And they're arguing and he's trying to convince her like, you don't want to stay married to a dude that's like human. He's going to die. Like, this is you better than this. And she loves this dude, right? So she wants to stay here and whatever. And then she realizes that, she learns that the king, her dad, had actually seen her having a child with Aragorn. And so she comes back to him and she confronts him. He's like, you saw a child. And he's like, I don't know what I saw. Like, not all this, these visions aren't, or some, they, they, they could change, it's not certain. And she looks at him and she says, some things are certain. And I love this moment because Arwen is right. Young, naive, love-struck, rose-colored glasses, Arwen is speaking wisdom to the dude who's been around for ages and knows everything. In this moment, he represents wisdom and knowledge and experience and eldership and all this stuff, right? That should be right and she should submit to. And she defies him in this conversation, not out of disrespect or rebellion, but because she realizes she's actually championing something more powerful than what he's bringing to this exchange. Love trusting in what love is capable of instead of your own wiles and your own devices and she says to him some things are certain and i love this line because there are so many things in life that point to calamity distraughtness is that a word destruction being harmed being betrayed being hurt being taken advantage of being stolen from like there's so many threats in our lives right? and we are trained at it from a young age to be mindful and aware and even paranoid of these potential influences in our lives, ways that we can be stolen from or destroyed. And I understand, like, there's, it's, it's appropriate for us to be aware of some of this, but we can actually lose ourselves in our paranoid awareness of how things can go wrong, that we can forget that there are actual powers at work in this life that are working for our benefit and that are intended to cause us to succeed and they won't fail in helping us succeed. Chiefly God, and then obviously all of his agents that are at play as well, orchestrating the events and circumstances in our lives for us to prosper and to thrive. There are powers in this world, you guys, who are devoted, who are committed. It's their sole purpose for you to win. Their goal, their agenda, their efforts are all geared toward helping you accomplish and do the things that God has put in your heart to accomplish, to experience, to attain, whatever those are. And it's easy to get overwhelmed and distracted by all the things that go wrong, everything that didn't happen the way we thought it should or whatever, especially based on our interpretation or our subjective judgment or perception of any circumstance or situation. But at the end of the day, if you can understand that in the backdrop, beyond your own scope of recognizing and understanding all the elements that are at work in your life, there are powers at work for your benefit. They are taking care of you. God is looking after you. And there are things in your story that have, hap that have not happened yet that will take place. They are certain and nobody can stop them. If you can give yourself to that understanding and to the rest and security in knowing that God is going to accomplish what he intended when he said yes to your existence, regardless of what anybody else chooses, it actually enacts the faith and the willingness and the resolve to step into obedience and agreeing with the power that comes from walking with God. Some things are certain Remember that, you guys. There are things going on around you and there's actual power dispatched to help you overcome and supersede whatever the enemy has devised to take from your life. You're supposed to win. And if you give to that place, winning becomes a regular everyday occurrence and it's not hard, it's not far away, it's not hard to believe in. It becomes an expectation, not out of entitlement, but out of a trusting, intimate relationship with love and truth himself. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Some things are certain. And remember guys, when you're watching a movie, you're never alone. Like, subscribe, and comment to this video, but also there's a little button with a bell on it. Click that button, it lets you know when the next video is gonna come out. And trust me, 